Let's now go to the western region where construction of school blocks and a chips compound at Bobobo in the Takwa and Swahili municipality of that region have stalled at various stages. As Stanley Nee Blue reports, health personnel posted to the community operate from a cubicle. Bobobo is one of the suburbs of Takwa with increased population. The community is carved as one of the 33 chips zones in the municipality and has had health workers posted but has no physical structure. The chief and elders of the community rented this apartment to serve the health needs of the people. However, this did not last as the community ran out of funds to pay for the rent. The owner of the apartment took over and has converted it into a shop. A member of the community then intervened. He offered this cubicle where health care is now administered to residents. The facility lacks space and so only one staff months it. Provision of health care has been limited to reproductive care. Our place is too small. We don't have bed here. We don't have anything. It's too small because of that. It's only the family planning that and the CWC, what I'm operating now. The community has initiated the construction of a chips compound to include delivery, palpation and consulting rooms, but the project has stalled due to lack of funds. The community depends on proceeds from its public latrine for the construction of the project. Another project on the same premises has also suffered the same fate. Behind me are two projects. The one that has been roofed is a school constructed by the central government in 2016 and this very one which is at the foundation stage also a community initiated project but the community is broke and so this project has remained in this state since 2017. Uh, the school project is uh, a project from the assembly which is get fun project. Now as we are in this country now the funds from get fun is not coming. So the ongoing project has become a standstill. Linguist of the community, Chiami Kojo Japan lamented, successive governments have failed to ensure the benefits from the national cake. Kenneth Boabin is the assembly member for the Green Compound Electoral Area. I asked the engineer about it. He told me the, school, the project is under investigation. As the change of government came, my last encounter with him, he told me even the consultant has been changed. Takwa and Suaye Municipal Health Director Emmanuel Afelkum said, addressing the health needs of Bobobo will require external support. We are relying also on the support from the Assembly and other stakeholders. We cannot push them so much. The only impact we can make is to leave the staff there to provide those community services and then use it as an entry point to demand a permanent place for them. And so their continuous presence is very important and that is what makes it also significant that the stakeholders look at the situation on the ground and then give in a support. Municipal Chief Executive for Takwa and Suayem, Gilbert Kenneth Asma said, the assembly has budget constraints, but there would be way out. The room was not built in a day. You can just do it one day. We have budgetary constraints. You know, we have a, a, the mining companies. They also do this in their catchment areas. If, you know, I had known this earlier, then I would have put the budget or the medium, the medium term development plan. Everything is enshrined in that. But apart from that, we have other um, donor partners like uh, the World Bank coming in to support. Bobobo, like other underserved communities in the Takwa and Suayem municipality, would require swift intervention to solve its health and educational needs. Stanley Nibli, TV3 News, Bobobo, Takwa and Suayem, Western Region. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.